Hi everyone and welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a gorgeous floral kind of watercolor nail art pack, I think. Yeah, that's the way I'll call it. Yeah. Yeah, let's get cracking guys. So what to start off this design, I'm going to go in with a gorgeous color which is called Lily of the Nile and it's a stunning pale blue, so gorgeous. I think I'm going to slap on a couple of layers on this nail which I've already buffed. Um, the color is a bit thick because it's a little bit cold in the studio. Well. It's warmer now with the lights on, but oh, the ceiling heat up. oh yeah. So I'm just painting a nice thin layer, popping it to the lamp, and then I'm gonna go in with the second layer. So we've got the second layer cured. I'm gonna go in with a lint-free wipe and pick up some you know gel residue wipe off solution and just give it a good wipe to remove that tacky layer now <laughs> i won't lie guys a lot of people do it differently but i won't uh, you know i like to experiment and try things and kind of ask why people do it a certain way uh, before I make a decision and just follow so I know that when people do a lot of watercolor they like to put a layer of um, matte top coat before because the color sticks better etc etc but I wanted to try what it looks uh, basically without and I like the result and I've done it a few times and I'm gonna stick with it so no matte top coat for me, okay? <laughs> now what I'm gonna do for this design is I'm gonna go in with our good old Sharpie and I've got a purple um, color over here. And what I'm gonna start doing is just map out those flowers that I want to paint. So now that the, lay the, the nail is tack free, what I wanna do is basically start painting, I'd say probably about three kind of leaf shapes uh, that are very kind of uh, close to each other. Did I just hear your stomach rumbling? Uh, probably. <laughs> that was probably me, yes. Yeah. Drew is hungry, guys. It's before lunchtime, what do you expect? I know, I know. So I'm going to paint another three kind of um leaves on this side and then i'm gonna do two on here maybe a bit smaller like yeah like how it looks so far why not so i'm gonna go in with a 3d brush and let me show you what i do usually so i take our um you know dispenser kind of thing what is it called i don't know plastic bottles where you put the alcohol in okay that's all you need to know <laughs> so i take one of them and then i just press it if you can zoom in kind of slowly and then i fill it in with alcohol so i can just dip it into it and that's only for art by the way guys so if you use clients and you go in like that you don't want to contaminate so just you know have a separate one for art so i'm going to dip in to that well and with my 3D brush. And what I'm gonna do now is just basically start painting those flowers. I'm just gonna kind of pull the color out. And it is like watercolor, but it's not. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. It's kind of dispersing the color. It's dispersing isn't it? the color. So I'm gonna do that with all three leaves, just like that. Now, what? It will dry quite quickly, it will evaporate because obviously we're mixing it with alcohol. So you can go in and add more color 
if you want it to be darker or if you want to have more detail remember when we did the marble design we can link it um, up here somewhere as well but uh, there is a technique that I talk about where you can just kind of you know rub the brush back and forth to create more lines can you see what I'm doing here yeah yeah to kind of give it an outline give it a bit of an outline push the ink just to the side just push the ink to the side that's right see even Drew is learning <laughs> so I'm just gonna basically add more detail again I might do it over here as well just push it back and forth to add a bit more lines come on everyone loves a bit more detail right unless it's Drew and he tells <laughs> Stop it, Steffi! Kind of like the idea of it being smaller. I'm gonna do that. Uh, now, I do kind of like how it looks. I, I do, however, feel like maybe I should add a little bit more. Stop rolling. <laughs> um, purple in the midsection because I like it darker. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple here, a little bit of purple here. And honestly, this is so easy for people that struggle with watercolor um, and controlling the brush. So it's a cute little hack. You're welcome. And I'm just gonna let the alcohol evaporate so it kind of dries. And it looks so nice, honestly. Uh, you don't really have to do it on a mat. You can do it directly on this and it will stick and stain the nail, which is great. <laughs> now, we've got the alcohol evaporated and I'm gonna go in with my 0003 brush and of course, Sirius Black. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount of color on my brush and kind of start mapping out a line down the nail and it's nice when it's kind of not super even in thickness because it makes it look more of a you know watercolor effect I'm gonna do another line over here so we've got that now um, I do kind of like the idea of having a few more lines on the flowers so I'm gonna just kind of do a few thin lines on it here uh, just to add a little bit more detail in the midsection of the flowers and look how gorgeous this is looking already oh my god I said that sentence again <laughs> if you're playing the Steffi drinking game at home take a shot now <laughs> I'm gonna just literally drag some lines out. Now I did kind of, ooh, stay there. I pulled a little bit of black on there. So I'm just gonna clean it up guys, cause I know it will drive me insane. So we've got those lines over here. Um, I'm going to probably cure this first and then we'll carry on. Right, so we've got this layer cured. Um, I'm going to go in with a green Sharpie and just add a little bit of leaves. Um, just because I think it will look nice. I'm just going to paint a couple of leaves in green. Maybe one here and maybe one here. I don't see myself doing another one. You think I should do another one, Drew? No. Maybe right at the bottom, maybe. Maybe right at the bottom. You know what? <laughs> Did someone just sneeze? <laughs> um, yeah, let's do that then. Let's add one here. Might continue the light even more. But for this one, so I'm gonna just dip into that alcohol. And I'm literally just kind of doing this. So I'm, I'm not even like dispersing it much. I'm just kind of playing with the green. I'm just floating the alcohol on top. 
maybe the bottom one I will kind of disperse a little bit more so I've got that and I think you know just because I'm me I might go in again with um, series black just to add a little bit more detail so I might add like a line here just to make it slightly more leafy if it makes sense and then let me just remove some of the paint another line over here and I think I might thicken this up slightly there we go that's better so I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and then we are going to top coat this so we've got this gorgeous floral design over here ready and um, I'm gonna finish it off by top coating it with a gorgeous um, cosmic top coat gel uh, which is called nebula now I think that a little bit of glitter will add a little bit of more stars and you know um, something a bit more blingy to this look so it goes really well with the flowers I'm just gonna work on a nice thin layer all over just to make this like nail shimmer a little bit just add so much to this look I'm gonna cap the edges And I'm gonna pop this back into the lamp. And this is it, guys, the final result. How gorgeous is this watercolor inspired nail art, eh? So nice, so easy to achieve. You can do it on a matte background as well, but it does work well without. If you just wipe the tacky layer, it does work, I promise. Give it a try um yes i'm gonna do some more of these if you guys are interested some roses some with embellishment let me know in the comments below if there's any other flowers you'd like to see and as usual don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you all on the next one take care guys <laughs> <laughs> If you could only hear Drew's stomach, <laughs> bless him. Uh, I'm gonna do a few. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, you're forgiven.